Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be looking at XY plotting with the efficiency nodes in Comfy UI. So to get us started, what are efficiency nodes and what is XY plotting? Well, efficiency nodes are a collection, a very useful and popular collection of nodes that um, pretty much aim to combine several nodes into one, therefore giving us a lot more space on our workflows. Um, but these um, nodes that have been built are very intuitive, and uh, this is a very good set of um, nodes to add to your, to your collection. XY plotting, um, this is used to display values for variables on a, on a twin axis, the X and Y axis. And um, within um, the efficiency uh, nodes, we've got some around about 18 different XY um, plotting variables that we can use. And, and we'll be looking at some of those in just a second. So first of all, let's just see how, um, take a quick look at how we can install the efficiency nodes. So as usual to install nodes, um, easiest way is if we go across to the Comfy UI manager, select manager, select install custom nodes, and then up in the search bar on the top right, if we start typing efficiency, um, I've just typed FE, I'm sure that's more than enough to get us there, press return, and you can see that it's brought us to the efficiency nodes for Comfy UI version 2.0 which has been authored by JAGS 111. So if you install that, we'll then go back to my workflow and I'll show you what, what I've done, how I've set this up, and we'll demo um, using some of the um, XY nodes in the efficiency node setup. Okay, so if we take a look up at my workflow here, I've broken it up into two groups. Um, the group on the left, the efficiency nodes, and the group on the right is just any other remaining nodes that we need to um, produce this output. So let's go across. If we take a look at the efficiency nodes, um, the core three nodes that we will need are the efficient loader, the K sampler, and the X plot. So we need to load those three. And then thereafter, um, you have you can have a choice really of the attributes that you want to load depending on what it is you you want to test. So um, if I, if I just show you first of all, if we come down and do a add node, if we come down to our efficiency nodes, you've got. Uh, let me just quickly run through. We've got the sampler there. Um, We've got under the loaders, we've got the efficient loader, the XY plot that you'll need, that comes under scripts. And there it is there, plot. Um, but the inputs, um, if you come down to the XY inputs, you'll see here you've got around 18, 19 different inputs, depending on what you want to use them for, what you want to test, um, to, to play with. So that's a really good useful set of um, nodes. So I've downloaded, I've downloaded, I've added um, five nodes to my current workspace, but um, have as many or as few as you want. So let's just um, go back to my workflow here. So the way this works, um, if we, let me just increase the size of this very slightly, just make it a bit easier. I hope the way I've laid this out, you can see how the connections run really quite clearly. I'll put a bit of effort into this. Um, so I think this is fairly easy to understand the connections. So I won't, I won't spend any time on, on those. Um, let me just increase the size very slightly. So starting with the efficient loader, we can see up here we've got the um, checkpoint name. We can, so we can select a checkpoint to work from, but we'll see in a moment that we could also make 
um, checkpoints, one of the attributes that we want to add to um, our end result. So if we want to compare results against several checkpoints, we can do that. But um, for the moment, we are looking at this, this one checkpoint, which is going to be um, Dream Shaper Excel. Here we have our positive and negative prompts. And um, here we can select the size of the image. I've gone for 1024 by 768, as these are XL uh, checkpoints. Um, and I think that's all that's of interest there. Let me just have another quick look. Yep, that seems to be okay. Nothing else that much there to be aware of. Um, coming down to the XY plot, uh, grid spacing, that is literally the space between the grids. So set that to what suits you, but you can see there if you set 15, that's what you're gonna get in your result. And that's, that seems fine to me. Um, the only uh, field that I would probably change from default is this case sample output image. Change that to plot, and that should do us. Um, coming across to the case sampler, um, here is there much you can? Is there much that you need to add to that? Not really, not for this demo anyway. Um, in fact, except for the VAD code, I set that to true, I believe. Everything else I think I left, I just left as default. Um, and then what you need to do, once we've done that, we, we want to um, really decide what, what um, attributes do we want to use on our output. Uh, montage that we're going to build here. So uh, let me just put that back there because it's annoying me. Um, so we've got our, here we've got our X and Y planes. We can see that the X at this moment in time is running through to the CFG scale. So if I want to look at how CFG will work under different um, options, so I start off with I set my batch my batch count. So I want three images um, for this for this task. I want to start off with a CFG of two, and I want to end with a CFG of nine. So basically, I'm giving it three images. Um, I'm asking it for three images between two and nine on the X plane, on the Y plane, which happens to be this one here, which is steps. Um, same thing, I'm going to ask it for three um, images and using steps between eight and 30. Now, um, with that, all I need to do then is press Q prompt. And as you can see here, this is the result I've got. So we were looking at CFG scale. We were looking at steps between the um, ranges that I've given it and I produce this one we'll do another a different one in it just a second um, but because these things take quite a while to um, to generate I just did this one ahead of time and um, let's just take if we open this up we can have a closer look and so this is really quite a useful uh, tool to to help us decide what um, what best attributes work best with our our work so let's just close that down for now, go back. So that's, that's basically what, what this is doing. Um, if we want to try something a bit different, let's change the X to, um, oh, let's go for the, I mentioned the checkpoints. So if we choose the checkpoints as our X axis, uh -huh. there we go. Okay, so here I can decide how many checkpoints I want to use. I'm just going to use three. And now I'm going to ask um, it to work on the SDXL, the Juggernaut XL, and the Dream Shaper XL checkpoints. So that's my X axis. For my Y, let's have a look at... 
Uh, let's do denoise because I'm not I don't have much experience with denoise it's something I'm I'm still learning so let's take the denoise go to Y back and get it this time yep we should be there and we're ready to go again so on the denoise let's just have a quick look I just want three images and I'm going to ask it um, to produce results between 0 0.5 and 1. Um, haven't haven't got a clue what this will do, but um, let's give it a go. So, Q prompt. This will take a while, so I'll now go away and make a cup of tea or something, and I'll come back shortly when the when the results ready. Okay, so that one's finished. Before we take a look at that, I forgot earlier to mention, so I talked about the um, left-hand group here, the efficiency nodes, um, and totally forgot to really go into any detail on what we've got over here on the um, standard Comfy UI nodes here. So basically, um, all we've got is from the latent on the um, efficient case sampler, latent running through to a VAE decode, which in, then in turn goes through to preview image. We also have coming from the efficient case sampler from the image, we come down and we have save image. So um, what we can do here with the preview image, we can look individually at any of these pictures if we want to. Let's just we can open them up. Um, however, on this one, this act this image has actually been saved, so I can access this from my folder. And let's just take a quick look at what we got with those results. So we asked for three results: one from the um, checkpoints and from the denoise levels. So we can see here that. For each of the um, three checkpoints, using a denoise of 0 0.5 it wasn't sufficient enough to give us any results at all. Um, coming down here, we've got 0 0.75. We started to see something work better here, work quite nicely here on the Dream Shaper XL. And I have to say, out of the, the three XL checkpoints that I've got, um, and I've only, only just downloaded, I think, yesterday the Dream Shaper XL uh, checkpoint. It seems to be a really nice model. And uh, anyway, yeah. And so the um, the last iteration that we used was uh, Denoise one point zero. And again, probably the nicest results is the Dream Shaper. So let's just come away from that. So yeah. So I hope it kind of makes sense what I was trying to explain here with the efficient nodes for xy plotting you you need these three main ones here the efficient loader the xy plot and the case sampler and thereafter have a look at the list of the 18 19 or so xy attributes that you've got to um choose and, and play with and um have fun with it so I hope you found this useful. Um, thank you very much indeed for your time and, uh, and goodbye.